Right, next step in this video, we're going to look at uh, copying the text layer and adding another title. So uh, maybe looking at 3D modeling and put that here. I'm going to look at layering up some of the uh, footage that we've got like this to make a bit more of a, a cool effect. And uh, I'm going to look at resizing this so the purple doesn't fit the whole screen. Okay, so first off, uh, I want to copy this text layer and I want it to say 3D modeling skills. Okay, so you can click on that, control C and control V, that will paste it. Now you'll notice that it pasted it in the middle of this footage. That is because I've got this video layer highlighted. So you can see that you can select different video layers. So if I wanted to put it on video on here, for example, control V, it's put it just there. So let's get rid of that, don't want that bit, and I'll just target that bit too. Okay, so uh, I don't want it to say Shinji Vardy, I want it to say um, 3D modeling skills. So you select it again, 3D modeling, and uh, I don't know, we'll call this weapon design. Okay. So this is just a nice way to kind of title each part of your showreel. So you might have 3D modeling, concept art, level design, uh, soundtrack, whatever you've got to show off, you want to uh, think about your own titles for each section. Okay. Uh, let's move this up to the same layer as this text. So it's right at the top. And uh, now this purple, uh, I don't want it to fill the entire screen. I just want it to almost just be like a little bar or, you know, just on show behind. So if you um, double click on, on that and come to your uh, effects controls here. So just whatever you've got selected here will appear here. So you want the effects control tab, not this one, effects control. And if you click on the purple, you've got these options. So it might be hidden. But in the effects, you've got position, scale, and this little box here. Now, if you click that, you see that this blue um, box appears around it, and you can change the size. Okay, so you can um, change the size of this. Now, at the minute, it's uniform scale. It's just going to make it bigger uh, in uniform. It's going to retain the size. So if you turn that off, and grab these now, you see that you can have a bit more control over it. You can click and drag it as well. So let's say, I don't know, you want it to um, be just on here. You can use the uh, move tools as well and move it very subtly if you want. So using the, the keyboard and I'm just going to drag it so it kind of covers the middle bit. Okay. So now I've got the purple just uh, across the middle. I'm going to put that underneath this one as well. So same thing, select it, control C, move this along to about here, and control V, and then drag it up and snap it so it's underneath. Okay, cool. So very easy to do. You'll notice that if you look at my video, I've got this black space around here. Now this might be because the footage that I've captured is smaller than the video that I want to create. Now it's not great to stretch up video, but for the purpose of this uh, show reel and, and demonstrating what we can do, it's not going to be the end of the world. So it's the same process. If you select this and hit the button, the, the transform tool here, and you can grab it and make it bigger so it fits the whole screen. Okay. Uh, what I would suggest you do is that you make sure that all of your footage fills the screen. That's one. And you can move it as well. So say if you want to just show off that kind of menu, menu side of it. There. there we go. So now when I, I move through, you can see that the footage is filling the screen. Okay, cool. Now, what I want to do is layer up some of this kind of uh, texture effect. So for this, I'm going to drag it in and drag the whole thing in. 
and I'm going to put it underneath my um, purple uh, layer and my text layer. I'm going to make it bigger, so click on it, effects control, motion, let's make it slightly bigger so it fits the whole screen. And obviously, because it's above our footage here, it's hidden that footage and I can't see anything other than just the black screen. Now what you can do, uh, similar to Photoshop, you can change the blend mode. So on your blend mode here, you've got normal. Now these different options are exactly the same as Photoshop. So if you select overlay or if you select um, multiply or lighten, you'll get that kind of more subtle effect over the top. So you'll see it best here. Okay. So now I'm starting to get a little bit more texture to the video, starting to look a little bit more professional. Now obviously it's going all the way through my video, I don't want that. So I can use the cut tool to cut it here, cut it here, cut it there, and delete these bits. Okay, so now I'm going to hit play. I've got the footage. Okay, cool. So all we need to do is add in a uh, visualize effect like this uh, dark grid or one of the others from the pack and I want you to blend it in using Lighten to create a bit more texture on your video and I want you to uh, change the, the shape of the color map so it's not filling the whole screen. Okay, if you could do that, demonstrate to the tutor and move on to the next video.